Hi, this is Mike Burgey, Senior Application Developer at Mainspring, and today I'm going to show you some simple navigation in FileMaker. So let's get started here in this simple file that has a contacts list and detail view, as well as this dashboard. We're going to start by creating top navigation parts in all of our layouts. So I'm just simply going to change these to top navigation. And on the list view, I'm going to add a top navigation part here. Now the top navigation is really good for navigation because uh, it sticks to the top and it doesn't uh, get affected by zoom, so it'll always stay the same size. So I've done that. Next on our list is creating a master navigation script. So to do that, I'm going to go into my script workspace. I'm going to create a new script called master navigation. And we're going to drive this by a parameter so I'm also going to note that I want an action parameter put in here. Now for that parameter, we're going to just simply set that into a variable. I usually use dollar sign $p and get script parameter. And I'm going to check to see if that's empty. So if is empty, dollar sign $p. We're going to exit, not application, we're going to exit the script. And that just means that we won't perform any action if that's empty. So we want to check for if p equals home or p equals dashboard, we can perform this action. Go to layout, and we're going to go to our dashboard layout. Then for if p equals contacts list, we're going to go to layout. This time we're going to go to the list view. I'm just going to copy this and change it for what we need for contacts detail. And let's say I want to do another action in my list view, like show all records, sort records, automatically, let's say by last name ascending. I can do that here in my action. So each one of my navigation actions has the ability to do something special. All right, now we want to create a button bar. So I always start with a home button. And I actually want to do this as a button bar so that it matches styles. Uh, I'm going to just use one segment, so I hit that minus sign. I'm going to change this, and I'm going to use the home icon. Bump that up to 28. And now we're going to perform our script master navigation, and I'm going to set that parameter here to home. This will be our home action. I'm going to change it so the cursor shows up when we mouse over it. I'm going to make that 50 by 50. Now I want a button bar that has two segments. So I'll change that to two, and we're going to use text for this. And I'm going to do contacts list. I'm going to perform our script with our parameter of contacts list. And for the second one, I'm going to do contact detail. And now we're driving this with contacts detail. Okay. Now I'm going to size that. Okay. Now we have our navigation with the scripts assigned to that button bar. So let's go ahead and copy this across all three of our layouts. And we are done. So context detail, that was the correct parameter. So I should be able to switch now between all of my layouts. So there we have it. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the active segment for each one of these. so that when you're on that layout, you're seeing that active blue highlight right there. You can do that dynamically by calculation as well. So if you want to get really complicated with this, you can build out your master navigation actions. You can make this button bar dynamic so that it highlights based on a calculation. Uh, and you can just keep adding to that script. So that is simple parameter-driven actions in navigation for FileMaker. I'm using FileMaker 16 advanced here, but this works in any version uh, going forward.
Thanks very much.